We're very, very delighted to have Gerald Post with us at Politics and Prose this afternoon. The title of his new book is Narcissism and Politics, Dreams of Glory. And I guess I just can't help myself, but I have to say I suspect that there was no shortage of material to work with. Um, <laughs> Professor Post teaches psychiatry, political psychology, and international affairs at George Washington University. Uh, he makes clear in this book, though, that his goal is not to offer clinical diagnoses of political leaders as tempting as I'm sure that may be for someone in his line of work. Uh, but rather, he explains, he attempts to discern and describe narcissistic, narcissistic behaviors in politicians and offer some understanding of their roots and influences. Uh, and I, you know, I think there's a temptation for all of us non-politicians to hear that and get very smug. Um, but before we get too smug, I should mention that he also points out that these traits are not limited to those in the political world. Um, indeed, narcissism seems to be a particularly acute condition of the era in which we live, a reflection of our self-centered, selfie-laden times. Uh, in the book, Professor Post focuses on some notable, um, or maybe I should say notorious, political figures whose tenures were marked by narcissistic traits that today have become all too familiar on the political stage. Arrogance, uh, entitlement, corruption, and more. Just if you have looked, even glanced at the news in the last few weeks, I'm sure you saw that uh, a local politician in Virginia was reelected after admitting to a sexual relationship with a 17-year-old. And of course, this week, the Speaker of the House in the New York legislature was arrested on corruption charges. In his book, Professor Post combines his expertise in psychiatry and politics to give readers a fascinating window into the minds and motives of politicians, such as the ones he describes and the ones I just described, uh, and how all of this uh, comes to play out in our public life. And I'm just wondering, uh, with 2016 already heating up, if you're thinking about volume two. <laughs> uh, please join me in welcoming Professor Gerald Post to Politics and Growth. No. Can you, okay. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you. Uh, and uh, this is the genesis of this book has uh, uh, really been a, a, a long, a long procedure, uh, and. Uh, as, as you mentioned, uh, these are not diagnoses I'm, I'm uh, offering. And uh, the reason that was uh, stated was that uh, uh, I have to watch the canons of ethics of the American Psychiatric Society. <laughs> um, w what I've tried to do here is take the concept of narcissism. It's so ubiquitous in uh, today's political uh, this life in general with selfies and the uh, and the me generation, and uh, it, it it is a, a profound and ubiquitous uh, characteristic in a political world. Not surprisingly, one has a uh, a capacity to have everyone feasting on your words. The first sentence of the book. Uh, if one were to strip from the ranks of political figures all those with significant narcissistic personality traits, those ranks would be perilously impoverished. <laughs> what I'd like to do is kind of go over, uh, in a, an overview way, the various themes I address in the book. So what I've tra I'm trying to do is deconstruct narcissism uh, and first, I'll talk about its origins. Uh, then I'll be uh, talking uh, about uh, uh, examples of the different paths uh, to narcissism. Uh, talk about narcissistic entitlement. I have one chapter uh, uh, talking about uh, the collection of politicians who uh, uh, have had uh, sordid affairs when they championed in their political lives uh, 
uh, sound family values. Uh, and part of what I'd like to convey is the different layers uh, that comprise uh, uh, a narcissism, and I'll give you some e examples uh, examples of this. There are two very different pathways to narcissistic personalities, um, to the to the wounded self, and that's a concept uh, that's quite important. And one theme uh, that uh, will become clear as we're talking is the difference between the surface grandiosity and what underlays that uh, grandiosity, uh, uh, insecurity. Uh, and I'll give you some interesting examples of that. Uh, as w probably the most traumatized leader uh, that I have uh, 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 profiled in my, in, in my uh, career <coughs> is uh, Saddam Hussein. Indeed, I, I rather rather miss him. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, he is an example of the wounded self. Um, uh, one way of thinking of him, uh, I sort of use an architectural motif. Uh, he was born in a mud hut, which sort of represents the poverty uh, not only economically, but psychologically of him. Uh, one can trace uh, back to the womb, literally, uh, his, uh, uh, the foundations of his uh, wounded self. Uh, in the fourth month of his mother's pregnancy with him, uh, uh, his, his uh, father died. Uh, uh, in the eighth month of the same pregnancy, the firstborn son, uh, what would have been his older brother, uh, uh, died under the surgeon's knife. Not surprisingly, uh, his mother became uh, severely depressed uh, and tried both to commit suicide, but was prevented from doing so, uh, and also tried to abort herself of the pregnancy. This is not a good way to begin this life. Uh, 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 she, uh, uh, at his birth, that really magical moment that uh, many of you in the audience have, 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 have experienced, uh, she turned away from her newborn son, would not take him to breast, uh, and turned over him, uh, his care, uh, to her brother, Kairala. Uh, and he was raised for the first couple of years of life uh, by Kairala uh, until his mother remarried. Uh, now those first two years of life are very important. Uh, that's the, 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 the moment of uh, uh, the idealization, um, uh, that perfect... Uh, uh, a perfect child that has been born. I still remember the uh, the birth of my daughter, uh, uh, Cindy, and how uh, she was clearly the most beautiful uh, uh, infant that had ever come across this world. Uh, um, and she is here to grace us with her presence today. Uh, uh, um, the, uh, uh, at age 10, well, when his, when his mother remarried, uh, Saddam uh, uh, was, was greeted with a stepfather uh, who uh, was both uh, abusive psychologically and physically to the young Saddam. Uh, and at age 10, his uncle Hirala Again, became a host to him again when he, uh, when young Saddam asked his parents to have an education and he, and he couldn't. Uh, 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 they, re they refused and he fled in the middle of the night, as the legend goes, to, to back to Hirala, who filled him with dreams of glory. Um, so uh, one of my ways of thinking of him is in three layers. That mud hut represents the wounded self. 
the uh, the grand palaces uh, represent uh, a uh, his his grand uh, his grandiose self, and what was underneath those palaces? Uh, an underground bunker uh, uh, with uh, security equipment, weapons, uh, an escape hatch with a with a uh, 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 helicopter. Uh, uh, so, and, and that's that siege state in his in his uh, psychology. Throughout his career, throughout his life, he had dreamed of becoming. Uh, uh, one of uh, history's great and most powerful leaders and believed he deserved to be ranked among the major uh, socialist uh, leaders, Mao Zedong, uh, Ho Chi Minh, uh, uh, Castro, Tito. But history had not so regarded him until he uh, invaded Kuwait in the summer of 1990. And I think you all Remember that uh, that time uh, he uh, he gave a guttural grunt, and uh, uh, the uh, oil barrel prices would spike twenty dollars, and the Dow Jones would drop two hundred uh, points. This was where he was supposed to be uh, a recognized, powerful world leader, and the headlines were filled with uh, uh, with, with uh, Saddam. Um, now, the notion, I, so I would call this an explosion of narcissistic supplies. It was, a, it was dreams of glory fulfilled. Uh, and uh, the notion that as we mounted our uh, uh, massive military forces, uh, that he would uh, uh, say, oh, sorry, uh, uh, I didn't mean to upset you uh, and go back to his previous obscurity was, was, uh, was, was an absurdity. Uh, and, and this was an, a very powerful time and uh, uh, to, to trace his career further, I, I won't go into detail, I could spend, spend an hour uh, talking just about just about him, but it, it, it's an interesting example to me of uh, uh, the, the manner in which one's earlier psychology shapes one's political history, and really a very wounded person who carried out this, uh, uh, the, the, these three layers can be traced throughout his career to the trial. Uh, which was uh, really quite, quite a time. The very opposite seeming pathway from uh, this uh, uh, was represented by a number uh, of leaders. Uh, Prime Minister Hawke of Australia, um, when he, uh, his mother wrote a memoir uh, saying uh, uh, that uh, when she looked into the crib, uh, at the, uh, at, indeed, at the moment of his birth, she knew something very special had happened and that someday he would be Prime Minister of Australia. Uh, in fact, she was later to remark uh, uh, that uh, uh, actually it was nine months earlier she knew something very special had, had happened. <laughs> now. Uh, in predicting that he would be Prime Minister of Australia, was that being prescient? No. Uh, what this says, though, is that she was raising him uh, uh, in a special kind of way. Uh, a, ra a rather remarkable example of that was uh, General MacArthur. Uh, as you may know, his, uh, uh, his, his mother, to make sure he attended to his studies properly, moved to West Point uh, uh, and took up an, apar an apartment there. And um, she wrote a poem that really embodies uh, uh, th this uh, uh, psychology. Like mother, like son, is saying so true, the world will judge largely of mother by you. Be this then your task, if task it shall be, 
to force this proud world to do homage to me. <laughs> Be sure it will say when it's verdict when it's verdict you've won, she reaps as she sowed. This man is her son. Now I, I think that's a, an amazing example of of the. Uh, but think of it as a, a burden too. Uh, you you must succeed in this world to be the vehicle of your mother's uh, uh, success, uh, uh, and uh, uh, to take it at another level, we we know of uh, maybe there are some among you uh, who have uh, uh, children uh, who who are raised to be uh, special, to be Olympic. Uh, 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 stars taken out of school at age three to have private tutoring uh, while they're going to the uh, 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 to to the ice rink uh, with with their with their trainer, uh, uh, or taken out of school going going to Lake Placid. Uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the 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 parents of. Uh, children who go on to become Hollywood stars or, or, or models. Now, one of the uh, th uh, concepts I want to uh, bring to you, narcissists regularly have disturbed interpersonal relationships. Um, and uh, there's an interesting concept in contemporary uh, psychodynamic uh, psychology that of the self-object, which comes from Heinz Kohut, uh, uh, which says that the person doesn't really relate to uh, the objects in his world, the people in his world, uh, 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 and empathize with them. Rather, they are there to prop up his uh, psychology. Wives play a very important role. Uh, role in this. Mugabe of Zimbabwe uh, 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 is uh, really quite interesting. He had a uh, distinguished career. He was, in, he was a nation builder. Uh, and his wife, Sally, was known as the mother of his nation. Uh, when she was, uh, 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 when they were at the height of their power, and had he re and he had he retired at that point, he would have been known as a, a nation builder. But uh, uh, she uh, uh, began failing physically. He began having an affair with his uh, secretary, Sally. Uh, she died. He married Sally. Uh, I'm sorry. He married Grace. Uh, 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 and uh, she uh, got the sobriquet of uh, uh, grasping grace, uh, uh, be, uh, and he had a real kleptocracy uh, under her, and uh, and all of the strong leadership which was present with her with Sally constraining the negative aspects of him. Now now grace. Uh, in, indeed, encourage those those very uh, aspects. Um, it's interesting to think about some leaders who were raised from early on to be uh, powerful uh, 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 figures uh, and had a continuity. Two important South Asian leaders are, are covered: uh, Indira Gandhi uh, uh, and. Uh, and, and Benazir uh, uh, Bhutto, both of them uh, had uh, fathers who sort of selected them uh, to, to follow in, in, in uh, their, their footsteps. Uh, and Indira Gandhi, in her uh, uh, autobiographical memoir, said some really interesting uh, things. She, um, she noted that her parents uh, ne ne uh, uh, and her, her father, Nehru, uh, was uh, so busy with trying to separate uh, uh, India uh, from its colonial status uh, and was often in jail 
And she noted that she didn't have uh, a play with dolls. Uh, and it's perhaps too glib to uh, attribute this to uh, as the source of her uh, uh, of her leadership. But what was quite fascinating, uh, she talked about her, her loneliness, and she had a column of toy so little soldiers, little metal soldiers, and at the front of that uh, column uh, was a, a soldier with a, a, a cross on a shield. This was, uh, 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 of course, uh, Joan of Arc. Uh, and uh, uh, one can su suggest that there is a part of the the seeds of martyrdom in that in that uh, in that image. Uh, um, w one of the uh, uh, other I I'd like to talk in, in uh, general about the immortality of uh, of, of leaders, uh, um, and several of several of the leaders uh, who, uh, contemporary endlessly seek to achieve immortality through their sons. Um, Gaddafi is an interesting example of that. Uh, I, I've uh, always been, uh, been fat, miss him too, I must say. I, mean, I call him the lunatic lad from Libya. Um, and uh, 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 and uh, uh, he was a, a very interesting man uh, who, uh, there were, to, he was sometimes called a madman, but he wasn't really mad. He was uh, had a, uh, a normal personality, except for two circumstances: when he was succeeding, and when he was failing. Um, <laughs> uh, when he uh, was succeeding, he could get high, and his judgment could really falter, and he could see himself as almost invulnerable when he was failing was when he was not in the center of attention and then he could be counted on to have a, uh, a crisis. He was a crisis creator in order to be in, in the center of uh, society. His, uh, he, uh, his behavior during uh, the Arab Spring was quite remarkable. And he, he found it, uh, uh, impossible to believe that uh, people didn't all love him when when the six six, uh, six uh, rebellious force uh, developed and uh, uh, he said uh, my people they they all they all love me and these these deranged youth who are in this uprising against me are on uh, 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 on drugs uh, that, that is uh, in their Nescafe. Uh, but he uh, uh, would keep saying, my people, they all love me. He said that again and again uh, and again. Uh, and vowed to go down uh, to the last drop of his blood, which he did. Yeah. His son, uh, uh, Saif, uh, was... Uh, uh, concerned about inheriting uh, a country uh, that was uh, uh, under sanctions. Uh, and it was probably his influence uh, that led his father to abandon the weapons of mass destruction program. Uh, one of the things I'd like to note on that, uh, on that night, I, I belonged uh, to the uh, Committee on the uh, on deterrence in the 21st century uh, 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 for the National Academy of Sciences, and one of the points emphasized was the importance of understanding uh, uh, in this century the idiosyncratic leaders who have access to weapons of mass destruction. Um, uh, Think of uh, 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 Gaddafi having been one, uh, 
but Kim Jong-un of uh, North Korea, you simply cannot think of deterrence as how do we deter North Korea? One has to have a nuanced portrait of that, uh, of the, of that leader. And uh, it was interesting working on the committee because uh, there was a dominance of Cold War, uh, Cold Warriors, uh, uh, going back to the period of, of our uh, superpower rivalry with the Soviet Union. Uh, and uh, to, to be thinking of just uh, countries as a rational national actor one has to have an, a nuanced understanding, be it of, uh, of Saddam Hussein, uh, that was after all the motivation for our intervention in that, in, in that ill-fated war, uh, be it Saddam Hussein, uh, 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 Kim Jong-il, the father of Kim Jong-un, uh, or uh, the Iranian uh, leadership, uh, including uh, the uh, pres president uh, uh, who, uh, hmm. <laughs> sirens in the background, uh, including the, the president who was a, uh, 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 one has to understand uh, the 12 Muslims uh, uh, to uh, really under, under, understand him. Well, and uh, one of the beliefs of the, of the, uh, uh, the Twelvers, which relates to the Twelfth Imam, uh, is that the Twelfth Imam uh, went into uh, a state of occultation when his life was threatened uh, and his... Uh, 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 the, he was to emerge at a time of chaos, is the legend, and then it will be an era of eternal peace uh, led by the Shiites. Uh, and uh, he was, uh, there's persuasive evidence that he was a Twelver. Uh, so if you were to ask, uh, uh, ask him, uh, why are you doing this stuff uh, with uh, propagating a nuclear philosophy uh, and, and calling Israel illegitimate? It's just going to cause chaos. He would smile with satisfaction um, because that would be him uh, uh, really playing, playing almost the role of the, of the, uh, of the 12th uh, Twelfth Imam. Um, the concept of the self-object, to take that a, a bit uh, a bit further, um, is important for the people around the leader too. One of the uh, concepts to note here is that you can't just think of a leader and his uh, his, his uh, and the country. Uh, the it, that look at that int, that circle of people around the leader, uh, which is quite important, and uh, the you cannot tell a perfect person and narcissist or perfect people any new information, and they are exquisitely sensitive to slight. That's a very important thing uh, to note. Uh, so. You can have a leader being surrounded by a, an inner circle who are telling him what he wants to hear rather than what he needs to hear. As a, a marvelous example of, uh, of this producing uh, sycophantic leadership and reinforcing distorted beliefs, you can have, and I, we have a number of... Uh, uh, clinical psychologists I know in, in the audience, uh, uh, one can have by psychological testing a, per, a leader perfectly uh, in touch with reality who is out of touch with reality because his advisors are telling him 
what they believe, and, and accurately so, what he wants to hear. A good example of this is Saddam Hussein. Uh, uh, when I testified before Congress about him, um, one of the things I emphasized was that he was a rational calculator who often miscalculated and was not the madman of the Middle East by which he was uh, uh, characterized. Um, in 1982, the uh, uh, war that he had started with Iran two years earlier was going very badly, uh, and he proffered a ceasefire uh, to Khomeini, who by now was obsessed with, uh, uh, with, with uh, Saddam and said, there will be no peace with Iraq uh, until uh, uh, you are no longer president. Uh, so he called the cabinet meeting, and I want you to imagine yourself uh, uh, as members of my cabinet, I'll be Saddam. Uh, 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 gentlemen, we have a, uh, there were no ladies in the cabinet. Uh, gen uh, uh, gentlemen, we have a dilemma. Uh, uh, we, have to, we have to stop this war. Missiles are raining on Baghdad by now. Uh, but Khomeini says, there'll be no peace until I'm no longer your president. What say you? And everyone to a man uh, said, uh, 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 Iraq is Saddam, Saddam is Iraq, you must stay on as president. And he smiled and said, uh, well, uh, that, that's very nice, uh, 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 but uh, I would like your frank and candid creative ideas. Uh, and his Oxford-educated Minister of Health said, uh, uh, well, Saddam, you might want to think about stepping out of the presidency temporarily until the conflict is ended, and then uh, you will uh, uh, can resume the presidency after after peace has been been achieved. I think a very clever idea, actually. And as the story goes, uh, Saddam. called him out to the, uh, out of the room and had him arrested uh, uh, and uh, uh, his uh, after saying publicly I want to thank you for your candor uh, uh, and uh, hit the minister's wife went to Saddam that night and said please Saddam uh, my uh, husband has always been loyal to you. Please promise me you'll return my husband uh, uh, to me. And he was very touched by that, apparently. And he promised her he would return her husband to her, which he did the next day in pieces in a black canvas body bag. Uh, this powerfully concentrated the attention of his other ministers, uh, who to a man uh, said, uh, you must continue this war, which went on for another bloody eight years. But uh, uh, what people learn from this, and there were a number of e uh, episodes like this in his life, uh, when he, uh, anyone who criticized him learned uh, that that was the path to uh, losing your job or losing your, your life. Uh, so th this made his leaders not the best and the brightest, as Kennedy uh, uh, set out, but uh, those who knew how to really respond uh, uh, in, in the way that reassured him. So, so remember, underneath, underneath that, uh, uh, that 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 uh, grandiose self was a very insecure self represented by that, uh, that, 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 that mud hut. Um, w one of the things I've been in, impressed by in studying uh, the ubiquity of narcissism is the sense of, of, of another characteristic of the personality, which is uh, uh, a, 
uh, a, a, a readiness to be to be insulted, and therefore, uh, and that, sen that sensitivity is slight. We are greeted uh, almost daily uh, with uh, um, uh, the, the spectacle of uh, another aspect of narcissism, entitlement and the sense of specialness, uh, where we've had this parade, and this is on both sides of the political aisle, a uh, parade of affairs, sordid affairs, uh, uh, while the uh, which are revealed in leaders who are uh, 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 noted for espousing family values and are there with the spectacle of wives standing loyally, loyally by their their sides as as this occurs, which uh, is. Uh, uh, and uh, we've seen uh, the, in the intro introductory remarks was noted some of the recent uh, episodes of, of this in um, in Virginia politics, uh, and, and uh, we've seen publics uh, still reelect individuals uh, and uh, uh, and make the point that the, the personal life has nothing to do with their political service. Well, it has a great deal to do with political service, and there are uh, hints that are present uh, 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 and, and clues that are present to political life in in per, in, in personal life. Um, what happens when the dreams of glory, which are founded in in, in youth, uh, are not achieved? Uh, there, we've seen historically this uh, happen with a number of really quite important leaders who in their uh, uh, leadership are, are uh, consumed by these, these dreams throughout their, throughout their lives. And one can see a, uh, an expression of something really quite important here. Uh, narcissistic rage. A good example of that, my uh, friend, old friend Saddam, uh, I say old friend, I had something like uh, 150 major media interviews during, during that, uh, uh, that, that, that fall, and uh, uh, as I say, I, I miss the old chap. Um, um, but uh, uh, when uh, Saddam was uh, forced out of Kuwait, uh, uh, he burned, he set the oil fields uh, of fire. I see that as an expression of narcissistic rage. Uh, this is a, there, there's kind of the white hot rage uh, and uh, the cold rage that can occur. And uh, I've done a major study of treason, uh, which, uh, you can look at as uh, dreams of glory not lived up to and needing to have a revenge upon the system that didn't properly recognize uh, this individual. Um, one other theme uh, I, uh, uh, I want to note is that of uh, the, uh, the charismatic leader. Uh, it's actually incorrect to even talk about a charismatic leader. One should talk about the charismatic leader-follower relationship. Uh, and there's a, an, in, an interesting way of thinking of this, I think. Again, comes from uh, psychoanalytic uh, theory and practice. And that's to be thinking of the leader as being uh, a mirror-hungry individual. Uh, that mirroring uh, is that, that, that sense that starts in, in childhood uh, uh, and in, indeed in infancy that's referring to the mother who holds her newborn infant and talks about uh, um, uh, so, someday like MacArthur's mother, but like many, uh, the most uh, be a beautiful child uh, or or this is my, my son, the doctor, will, and so forth and so on. 
uh, and the the aspect of uh, uh, this mirror hungry personality comes from when there was a, an insufficiency of mirroring during infancy and when it seeks through the adulthood to have that idolizing personality and Castro is a good example uh, of this uh, he w during the he would give eight hour tirades uh, 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 and we get and people were dropping of exhaustion as they were listening in the in the heat and he would get stronger it was as if the energy of the followers was flowing uh, into him in contrast uh, is what is called the uh, ideal hungry personality uh, which is the individual who doesn't feel complete unto himself and only when he uh, or she is attached to a great other uh, 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 and uh, there's, so there's a natural fit and these are the charismatic followers the two kinds of charisma uh, the destructive charisma and uh, a reparative charisma uh, we've just uh, been celebrating uh, uh, or celebrating the uh, Martin Luther King's uh, birthday he's an, a marvelous example of the reparative charismatic and he's also a representative of what's called a non-constituted leader because there was no official election of him or appointment of him. Uh, rather, he became leader uh, because of the power of his oratory uh, and, and the sense of hope he was able to convey to his followers uh, 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 that uh, uh, in terms of his... Uh, getting equal rights uh, for uh, African Americans. Um, uh, in contrast, and he was healing the splits in his own psychology as he was healed, trying to heal the splits in the nation. In uh, contrast to this are the leaders who uh, say to his followers, it's not us, it's them. They are the cause or of our problems, or he is the cause of our problems, uh, 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 and uh, demonizes a population uh, uh, and externalizes uh, to them. A good example of this was Hitler, uh, but uh, uh, Osama bin Laden, too, had charismatic power for his followers uh, and, uh, and, and, and was identifying the followers as the cause of uh, of the uh, 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 was I, I'm sorry was identifying uh, uh, the, the Shaw as the source of uh, uh, his difficulties, uh, and 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 you had a wounded population in Iran, uh, uh, and uh, this was uh, uh, in, uh, in in part. Uh, a consequence of the Shah of Iran, um, who uh, uh, really had destabilized the country uh, in, in many ways. As he was rushing to judgment, uh, uh, or rushing to uh, uh, take his own career, uh, uh, and put it on, on, the, uh, on the line, uh, because he was dying of cancer. Um, uh, I was uh, in my uh, CIA career at the time, and uh, uh, there's a lot of criticism of the agency for not knowing about the uh, coming Iranian revolution, uh, uh, the Islamic revolution. They should be criticized for not knowing that he was uh, dying. Uh, uh, and the impact on narcissism of the narcissistic personality of individuals who are uh, uh, terminally ill uh, is quite profound. I call this in an, in an earlier uh, 
uh, book, When Illness Strikes uh, Leader, um, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the uh, sitting crowned upon the grave uh, with the this, with this shaw uh, was really quite uh, interesting. A very narcissistic man who had uh, written a book about his, uh, his uh, plan for Iran. Uh, mission for my country was called the White Revolution, and with uh, uh, it was a, a plan widely applauded in the West that would help bring Iran uh, out of a kind of feudal state uh, into, into into the modern days, but would take 15, 20 years to transform the infrastructure of the country uh, in what was necessary. Uh, in 1973, uh, the uh, Shaw was uh, getting, feeling increasingly uh, 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 ill, uh, had a swollen abdomen, uh, was sallow complexion, um, uh, uh, in pain. He called his the doctors in who had called in French physicians when they found an alarming uh, uh, mass in his, uh, in, in his abdomen. And uh, uh, they diagnosed him as suffering from Weldensrum's uh, macroglobulinemia, a uh, kind of pre-leukemic illness. Um, and one of the things that was uh, striking um, was 1973 was the year he broke with OPEC uh, and uh, quadrupled uh, oil prices pouring into uh, uh, Iran, uh, which led to a revolution of rising expectations uh, uh, for the people of, of Iran. Uh, and this equilibrated the political system. Um, uh, and what had happened in a way was the, the Shaw uh, had uh, had to accelerate uh, the political timetable because of his shortened timetable. His doctors had told him he would only have seven years to live uh, with, 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 with this illness. And you remember the spectacle of uh, the Shaw without a country uh, uh, who ultimately um, um, uh, came to the United States uh, for, uh, uh, for treatment and no country was, uh, would, take, would take him in. It was really quite a tragic end to a, a, a quite uh, a profound uh, career before then, but he had superimposed his personal timetable on the political timetable, basically. Uh, another interesting example is uh, Papandreou, uh, uh, who uh, the uh, Prime Minister of Greece. He had been, uh, and I uh, call, call this uh, 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 terminal machismo. Uh, uh, he had uh, uh, there's an ambivalent attitude towards affairs in uh, in uh, southern Europe, uh, and where there's uh, on the one hand a stress on family values, but on the other hand an admiration of the womanizer. But you're supposed to keep it discreet. Uh, and uh, with uh, uh, Papandreou, who uh, uh, came to the United States, got his uh, PhD in economics, uh, was in Adelaide Stevenson's political advisors, uh, married an American uh, uh, woman, uh, and uh, he uh, uh, went back to Greece when, after his father, the prime minister, had, had died. Uh, and uh, was uh, strongly uh, a strong public figure uh, in terms of his uh, 
uh, be, being a father. And at the time, he uh, uh, was having an affair with this uh, uh, attractive uh, young uh, uh, starlet. But had kept things quiet until he had uh, a uh, 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 chest pain turned out to be requiring uh, uh, cardiac surgery. Uh, and instead of taking his wife, Margaret Chant, of 34 years with him to uh, uh, surgery in, 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 uh, in London, uh, 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 took this uh, young starlet uh, uh, who actually came into the operating suite and um, uh, and uh, this uh, led to a really interesting column in a Greek newspaper uh, that uh, uh, indicated that uh, Pap Papandreou had added a new position uh, to the Karma Sutra uh, uh, one one foot in the grave and one in the bed. Um, uh, I think we're, we're running short on time, and I want to make sure that uh, folks have an opportunity to ask a couple questions, if that's okay. Uh, that that is all right. Let me let me um, uh, wrap up by pointing to uh, uh, one of the more, more interesting uh, chapters, I think, in the book, and. Um, the author uh, Ruthie Pertzis is standing up there at the uh, uh, at, at the rear. We worked on this to, uh, together. Uh, is that of uh, what I call second choice sons, uh, leaders by default? Uh, in that exclusive fraternity are John F. Kennedy, who's uh, uh, who uh, whose brother Joe was the adored son of his of his. Uh, of his father, and it was killed in World War II. Um, uh, uh, Bibi Netanyahu, whose brother Jonathan uh, was the hero of his father's Benzion, uh, and uh, died in the raid on Entebbe, and became an, an, a national hero. And uh, Bibi never lived up to uh, uh, his, uh, his heroic stature, uh, and we see this playing out even today, uh, in, in in many ways. Uh, uh, he he has his father until age 102 was there looking over his shoulders, and I believe psychologically still looks over his shoulders, uh, and criticized uh, 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 BB for. Uh, Compromising uh, well, when he got when he signed off on the uh, on the Oslo Accords, and when he talked to, uh, when his father criticized him, he said, "Well, I had to do this tactically." And his father said, uh, "When you compromise tactically, and in your compromise your principles, uh, that is something you, you must never compromise your principles." Uh, and uh, one of the uh, 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 aspects of, of 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 this is he's he can never be strong enough, never tough enough, because he'll, he's always psychologically hearing hearing those messages, uh, and he's coming in the uh, the next uh, the next weeks to uh, 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 talk to uh, the the uh, the house uh, and and send it to a joint. Uh, uh, joint congressional uh, audience uh, in, in a way which is, is bound to promote real conflict and tension with uh, uh, with with the, with the president who has, who will not see him. Um, and uh, a third member is uh, Bashar al-Assad, uh, the uh, former ophthalmologist who is, uh, has succeeded his father Hafez. And uh, uh, again, very interesting. He was known as a gentleman. There was hopes he would reform uh, uh, reform the leadership. Uh, 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 
uh, but that was not not to be. And uh, uh, I still think of the some of the sources of, of our uh, uh, understanding of him. Uh, uh, coming from, uh, well, for example, that media interview with Barbara Walters, where she was she was asking, "How can you be doing these things? How can you be causing such violence and, and so many, so many deaths?" And he said, and, and, and he said uh, 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 "You're talking as if." Uh, uh, I own the military and I own the country. Uh, uh, the, uh, this is uh, uh, this is this is not the case. Uh, uh, and in fact, there is reason to believe that his younger brother Maher uh, may well have be behind the degree of the uh, uh, of the aggression uh, that. Uh, 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 he was appointed by his father to be the public face, uh, and uh, not the uh, uh, not the enforcer, which was the role of his younger brother. So uh, uh, let me just sum up by noting: uh, uh, this is a, a remarkably ubiquitous uh, character. Uh, Psychological characteristic, uh, and in in this unstable world, where uh, uh, so many of the conflicts have to do with uh, 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 rogue leaders or leaders with malignant narcissism. Uh, the, the psychology of Hitler, the psychology of uh, of Saddam, uh, to not have uh, a uh, uh, a nuanced political personality profile of of leaders is uh, is to be significantly impaired in our leading with them. Uh, the only way we can deter individuals is by understanding in a nuanced way their personalities. And when malignant narcissism is that personality, uh, this is very, very dangerous indeed. Well, let me stop there for uh, uh, questions. Uh, I want to make sure that everybody can get their book signed before our next event. So uh, we'll take your question, ma'am, and then if you have another question, maybe we can get through the signing and you can uh, ask Professor Post oh my after goodness. the signing is done so that we make sure we're ready for our next event and everybody gets their book signed. So um, go ahead. We can go final question. Thank you. Thank you. Um, there's a line from an old play that everybody's a little bit off. It's just a matter of degree. And in that context, there's a... All of these things that you described as part of narcissism is a laundry list of various and sundry characteristics from insecurity to this sense of entitlement and so on and so forth. Each example you gave is a negative as a result of narcissism. narcissism. Is there any situation in which the drive to achieve success is actually motivated in part or happens in part because of those very self-same characteristics? That's an excellent question, and uh, w one really needs to think of the spectrum of narcissism. And uh, at its uh, at its peak, narcissism can be looked upon as healthy self confidence, uh, and uh, unless one uh, reaches for the scars, stars, one is not going to achieve them either. Uh, so. Uh, the 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 point you're addressing in that question uh, has to do with uh, the very traits which may lead to success, uh, if exaggerated, can lead to uh, uh, can lead to uh, overreaching, uh, can can lead to. Uh, uh, a, 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 read, a, a readiness to 
be so concerned with one's own own uh, gr personal grandeur that one loses sight of the, of the followers. Uh, but uh, some of the leaders I mentioned, uh, who uh, Mohandas Gandhi, uh, 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 Martin Luther King, were, were some of the most heroic moments in history came from narcissistic leaders too. So it's it, it is indeed a, 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 a spectrum. Thank you all so much for coming, and uh, we have folks up front.